Oh, Joaquin Phoenix, what are you doing, mate? Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, actor, has now called for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo to grant clemency for prisoners. This is such a fundamentally flawed argument. I, I, I can't possibly fathom why Joaquin Phoenix thinks this is a cause to jump on. Now, let me explain. Um, we, we don't have what what clemency is. Uh, we don't have that in the UK. Now, I believe, I've done a rudimentary search, clemency as terminology is just mercy, and I believe the clemency program is to do with pardons. He seems to be calling for Andrew Cuomo to pardon prisoners in New York prisons. Basically, release them, yeah? Um, why would you do that? They're already quarantined. <laughs> why, why would they... What? Why? Why? They are quarantined. Why would you... What, you're going to release them and then put them in another kind of prison? What are you talking about, Joaquin Phoenix? So, he's basically, he jumps on Instagram. You know, let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. The spread of coronavirus in prisons threatens the health and safety of all of us. When you're incarcerated... There's no such thing as social distancing, and ensuring good hygiene is not an option. Leaders must do everything possible to prevent incarcerated people and those who work in prisons from becoming ill and spreading the virus. I'm calling on Governor Andrew Cuomo to take action in New York by granting clemency to New Yorkers in prison. The lives of so many people depend on his action. No one deserves to die in prison from COVID-19. Okay, um, fu again, fundamentally flawed argument there, Mr. Joaquin Phoenix, and, and I like Joaquin Phoenix, I uh, thought he was staggering in Joker, but goddamn, man, this is not the hill you die on, seriously, really isn't, P apparently prison means social distancing is impossible, no it doesn't, you just get locked in your cell, what are we all doing now, the UK's just announced there's another three weeks minimum, of lockdown, of us under house arrest, basically. Uh, I mean, what are you talking about, Mr. Joaquin Phoenix? How how can you get this so wrong? Why is this even an argument? Why is this a video? Social distancing in prison in 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 prison is difficult. Is it really? Is it difficult? No, it's not. You get locked in your cell. You stay there. In fact, it's so much easier to control in a prison than it is outside of a prison. What do you think these prisoners are going to do when they get off into the world outside when they've been granted clemency? What do you think they're going to do? You know, they've just been in prison. Do you think they're then going to stay inside and social distance? Or do you think they're going to run amok and go see their mates? They're probably going to do that, aren't they? Unbelievable. And no, you are completely right. No one deserves to die in prison when they're, say... I don't know, they're not, they're not got the death sentence, for instance. You know, all these things are... We can go into the philosophical discussion and basis for all these things. No one deserves to, no one deserves to die due to COVID-19, regardless. The fact that you're a prisoner is not really the point, right? But calling for them to be released is total trash. Because they are quarantined right now. They are controlled. What are you actually asking for? Did you think this through? Joaquin Phoenix, mate! It's not the time to virtue signal. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> no one cares, mate. No one cares. Guess what? Everyone's dying outside. No one cares. No one cares right now about prisoners that are actually quarantined or under control. I think people will actually feel a lot safer with them inside the prison. Because if you release them now, Mr. Phoenix... People are probably going to feel a little bit unsafe. A little, little bit, ooh, ooh. A little bit like these people might run amok. Ooh, maybe. What a tool. Phoenix states that the spread of coronavirus in prisons threatens the health and safety of all of us. No, it doesn't. Completely controlled population. Completely controlled population. Statistical, the statistical facts... Do not care right now about what you think about prisoners. Does not threaten the health and safety of all. No, it does not at all. 
in fact. It's very easy to control. A population under control, very easy to stop the spread of the virus. Very, very easy, in fact. When you are incarcerated, there's no such thing as social distancing. Those 10 by 10 or whatever it is cells beg to differ, mate. And ensuring good hygiene is not an option. Mate, half the people don't wash their hands after they've taken a shit. And you're talking about hygiene in prisons. God damn. Leaders must do everything possible to prevent incarcerated people and those who work in prisons from becoming ill. Now, right, let's focus on that. The the people that work in prisons should definitely not become ill because they're going to then, you know, release it from the prison to their home and stuff like that. And that's not right. Um, but they... The fact that they're incarcerated, they're under control anyway. This controlled population, you know, they are, in the UK at the very least, actually, prisons and care homes are one of the most stringently tested health kind of populace there is. Because, again, they monitor these things. They monitor outbreaks. So I'm sure it's probably the same in the States. Governor, Governor, Governor Cuomo, take some clemency to prisoners. No, mate. No. So, clemency is the power of a president or governor to pardon a person convicted of a crime. I, I thought it was. No! Now is not the time to pardon prisoners. They're in prison for a goddamn reason. Right? You letting them out is not going to better them. In fact, it puts them and everyone else at much more harm's reach. Unreal. God, I really, I like you, Joaquin Phoenix. I really do. But you're talking some serious shit right here. Like, some monumental shit. No one can take this seriously, surely. Surely not! But let's take a look. Shall we take a look? If we can. No, we can't. Can we take a look at the comments? I don't think we can. We can't take a look at the comments. Why can't I take a look at the comments? Apparently you can't take a look at the comments online. Never mind. I'm sure there's lots, I mean, there's lots of comments there. I'm sure lots of people are virtue signaling to him. And going, yes, Joaquin, please. What do they think of the prisoners? No. Because they're a controlled population. Anyway, this is not the first time he's done all this stuff. He's... You know, he's one of these people that just virtue signals for the sake of it. You know, he's wearing like a million dollar suit and he's talking about climate change. Mate, get a reality check. Dude, seriously. You're having a laugh. Utterly having a laugh. Before he was arrested, this is all publicity stunts. Phoenix addressed the protesters telling them, I don't have anything prepared. People have spoken so intelligently and eloquently. But something I think isn't oftentimes talked about in the environmental movement or the conversation about climate change is that the meat and dairy industry is the third leading cause of climate change. Oh, God damn. Like Hollywood, people, you're the worst. You can't lecture anyone. You're the fucking worst. You are the worst. I think sometimes we wonder what we can do in this fight against climate change. And there is something that you can do today, right now, and tomorrow by making choice about what you consume. Uh, every year, that's right, I've just become vegan. Uh, I struggle with so much of what I can do at times. There are things I can't avoid. I flew a plane out here today. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I, I can't avoid flying with a plane. You can. Or last night, rather. Look, he's taking planes so often he forgets when he does it. Jesus, stop fucking virtue signaling. Seriously. It annoys me so much. It annoys me so much. Now is not the time, ladies and gents, to release prisoners from prison. They are a controlled population in there. They are more than safe. They are. They are no. They're no. They're no more in harm's way in there than we are. Like it's not rocket science. Controlled. They're in quarantine. Leave them there. It's fine. <laughs> 